So Jacob, what is coming up in the next few days for weather? A lot going on with those multiple snow chances and the Arctic air making a return. But this temperature boundary has, in, has been in place all day today with much warmer weather to the southwest compared to the northeast. And that boundary is what our clipper is riding along into your overnight, bringing some gusty snow showers to some. But check out these temperatures over the next 24 hours, holding steady for the most part tonight and then dropping off through the day tomorrow. So the high temperatures tomorrow that you'll see on this map the 20s will occur in the morning and then we'll drop down into those teens and single digits later in the afternoon and evening. But going hour by hour tonight and into tomorrow with that clipper passing through most of the snow to the north and east of the system itself. So by 3 a.m. a few more snow showers mainly north and east of Minot. But winds increasing to the southwest of that center of low pressure. Wind gusts could be upwards of 35 miles per hour, particularly across southwest and south central North Dakota by midday tomorrow. Uh, there could be some blowing snow, but this system I don't think will be that impactful just because snow amounts will be fairly limited except for northeastern North Dakota. Coating of snow is possible elsewhere with a few other snow showers, but I don't anticipate a whole lot into tonight. There will be some gusty winds though, as I mentioned, into your day tomorrow. So noontime snapshot on Monday. Look for those wind gusts upwards of 35 miles per hour, mainly along the southern tier and then diminishing as we go into Monday night. Tuesday brings a better potential for snow region wide as an area of low pressure approaches from Montana. So midnight Monday night and into early Tuesday morning that snow into Montana. 5 a.m. snapshot Tuesday morning some snow entering western North Dakota and there'll be a gusty easterly wind with this system so there will likely be some blowing snow and travel impacts during your daytime hours on Tuesday. A 10 a.m. snapshot shows, shows moderate snow for much of the region with the exception being along the international border and into northeastern North Dakota. The snow then tapers off later in the afternoon Tuesday as the system moves down to the south and this will eventually merge into a Colorado low that will impact parts of the northern plains Wednesday into Thursday. We'll get into that in a second but the snowfall forecast for Tuesday and into Tuesday night with that system passing through mainly into western and southern North Dakota. Uh, look for the highest amounts between two and five inches in this area but lesser amounts farther to the north and east. So that infamous Colorado low, the track continues to push to the south because of a blocking area of Arctic high pressure in Canada. That keeps most of the snow at bay into South Dakota and over towards Minneapolis. So if you have travel plans there, there will be certainly impacts Wednesday and into Thursday. However, some of that snow does advance up into North Dakota, mainly into the southern half of the state though, by Wednesday evening and into Wednesday night. Gusty winds as well, very strong winds in southeastern North Dakota there will but likely be some blowing snow as well as travel impacts Wednesday night and into early Thursday morning before that snow clears out during the second half of your day on Thursday. Wednesday into Thursday is when our wind chill values will also be the coldest in the 30s below zero. So gusty winds over the next several days throughout much of this week leading to that blowing snow as well as our frigid wind chills. Tuesday through Friday morning will be the most critical time for those wind chills in the 30s below zero. Wednesday and Thursday are high temperatures likely won't make it above zero degrees. But as for the snow chances, that fast moving clipper into your overnight tonight won't amount to a whole, much, a whole lot of snow uh, totals. But Tuesday looks to bring a lot of snow to mainly western and southern locations, about two to five inches, as I mentioned. Then that Colorado low, mostly to our south, but some impacts will be felt around here. Wouldn't it be nice if it just skipped us completely? I know, yeah, but <laughs> can't control the weather, unfortunately. No. Thanks, yeah. Jacob. You're welcome.